It's funny because, you know, I had so many people that came out from the gym and friends and family and my fiance's family, my family. So really, you know, they're here the whole time and you don't really get to see them because you're business, 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 focusing on the show. So afterwards, they're like, you know, where do you want to eat? I'm like, I don't even care. You know, you can give me a, you can give me a glass of water. I just really want to sit down. I want to talk with you guys. You know, I want to be around you guys. The past 16 weeks, you know, you're around people. I'm, I'm with my girlfriend, my fiance a lot of the time. You know, I, I could be laying right next to her and I still don't feel like I'm there. So I finally, for once, I just wanted to sit down and just be there. You know, and not have my mind be on my next meal or the next workout. So, um, we just we just went to the hotel. Uh, I just got a steak and potato, and but really, I, I could have really eaten nothing at all. I just wanted to sit there and and be with them and talk to them and be around them. The whole time I haven't had a planned diet, so it's not like I could go back to the plan, go back to the diet. It was a matter of you know the day after the Flex Pro, I had to do photo shoots, so I wasn't. You know, you're still kind of dehydrated. If I had gone back to eating exactly what I was eating prior, my stomach probably wouldn't have handled it too well. There's certain things you need and certain things you don't need. So I think uh, it was, it's, and that's how the whole prep is going. It's going, what do I need right now, day to day, what's right for right now? And the, the two weeks following the flex, that's, uh, that's the same way it went. To, to finish, you know, in the top five, top six, you know, in the Arnold Classic, it's e it's easy to get wrapped up in I gotta win I gotta win I gotta win, but you know I've I've always said this from day one and I've kept this I've tried to keep this as my as 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 my as my philosophy. You can't it can't be about winning it. This is bodybuilding, and we all start off in the gym to be better. We all have our certain goals and. It's, it's, it's never, I don't think anybody walks in a gym and says, well, I want to train to win this show. You know, anyone, someone who's never picked up a weight in their life. Someone always has a deeper reason why they're training. They want to they wanna look better. They want to feel better. It's about progress. It's about bettering yourself. And even at this level, at the professional level, I try to never lose sight of that. And I, but I, but I, at the same time, I sincerely believe that if I do everything to the best of my ability and I make that, make that my number one priority, that's, that success will be a byproduct of it. Did I win the Arnold? No, I didn't win the Arnold, but placing fourth to me was, 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 was excellent. Um, I'm really happy with that result. And, I, and I've, I've said this before, you know, you do it for you, you do it for your own reasons. You win, you win. You lose, you still win. You know, you gotta make it so it's a win-win for you. It's, it's always been most important to me to get on stage showing improvement. You know, I train to be better. And, you know, granted it was only two weeks between the flex and the Arnold. I said, well, you know, what improvements could you make? So, well, I think I, you know, I, I can come in maybe a little fuller, a little drier. And I, I felt that I was sharper. I haven't seen, I haven't had a chance to see the photos yet, but um, whatever, you know, if, if, even if it was a half a percent or one percent, whatever it was, possible within that time frame I hope that I that I uh, that I did it so I won't know until I see but people you know I, I certainly got good feedback in, you know in order to place higher well there, there, were, there were there were some things in the morning you know in the morning the prejudging I you know my color wasn't wasn't perfect and I felt like I came out very strong and I started to fade a bit I, you know I, I think I could have I got up early because I, I made not this, uh, I had a similar issue with the flex, kind of needing more food in my system. So I got up at, at six and started eating and I had a good three, might have been four meals before I got on stage. So I felt great going out on stage. And then as it, as it progressed, I felt like I kind of started to fade a little bit. It, it was a pretty rigorous comparison. They compared us a lot, but it's... For the night show, you know, knowing that now that they re, they rejudge at night, same thing. I think I could, I could have come in a little fuller at night. I, I always have this problem. I eat and eat and eat after the prejudging, and uh, still I, I come in a little sharper at night, but um, maybe not as full. And at the at the you know at the amateur level it works, but you know when you're standing next to guys like Victor Martinez and Branch Warren, 
who are you know and Dennis Wolf. These guys are these guys are big. They're big, <laughs> and, and and they're they're well conditioned too. So even if you're sharper than them, you know it's not it's not just a conditioning contest. It's a bodybuilding contest. So you got to have it all.